everybody, welcome to our practical class. We are going to be having a short skit of Dara sitting right here, acting the part of a of a old of an old man. Um, so we are working basically with our China Chinese lantern and our camera, our Chinese lantern and our 6D camera. Um, so this is our practical class, and um, we have here our model Dara Sinibamiloi. Behind the camera is Joshua McBamiloi. So, oh my God. Okay, so um, this is basically what we are using to light our China lantern and this bulb here. This bulb here costs about uh, 1000 naira there, but for this China lantern costs like 500 naira. I bought it in the store where they sell um, different um, decor items, decoration items for wedding and different things. Like that. So that's why I got it 500 naira. And so, altogether, so let's say the budget for our lighting is 1005. So that's it. So what we are going to do, so I'm going to place this inside here. And we'll place this idea, we'll get our rope tied together. We'll get our rope, tie this together to fix it up. Then after that, we put on our lights. So, voila, it gives us this feel. Now the beautiful thing about this light is that it has a way of spreading around in a way that it just lights up everywhere not just a particular person but if you don't want it to spread around what you can do is just get a black cloth and block off the areas you don't want it to light but we want it to light that i me right now so what we're going to do is we're going to place this on this All right, so our light is now on our stand. We well, prefer to use you can use a you can use a straight stand and just light. You don't have a C stand or a boom light like this. But I prefer to use a boom light because it actually directs the light. So this is the China light. This is the boom light. They are directing it towards that because that is our subject of um, shoot. Um, another thing you can do is use human. Um, power. What, you, what that means is that basically if someone can just carry the um, tripod stand. If you still want to have that focus, just tell someone to carry the tripod stand and you put the Chinese lantern as it is now, then the person will just carry it like that. Boom the light. I've done that several times before. It's always stressful, but it's part of the um, labor. Now, that's it. We have our light. <coughs> so, um, we are back to our tutorials. Our Chinese lantern is in place and our camera is ready to shoot. But before that, okay, let's put it on now. Voila. So, I told you earlier that this helps to direct the light to the subject that I'm shooting. But I'm using a particular lens. This is um, Aperture 4.0. And I said that before you can enjoy the power of your lens, the lower the aperture, the better it is to accommodate light. That means if the aperture is like 2.0, it takes in more light. If it's 1.8, it you know, takes in more light. The, the lower the number, the more it can accommodate light. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change this lens to a smaller lens so that to a um, aperture 1.8 lens. That's the lower number now. So that it will take in this light well. All right, so I'm going to do that right now. This is a 15 millimeter. This is a 15 millimeter, and it has an aperture 1.8, as opposed to the 4.0 that I had before. So that means now with this 1.8, I can take in more light and I can make use of this Chinese lantern. So I'm going to switch it real fast. All right, so we have Dara on fo in focus now. Now let's see the difference when. Let's see the difference between when we have a China lantern and when we don't have a China lantern. This is when we do that with channel lantern. Now let's put on the channel lantern. 
Now let's put on the channel lantern. Alright. Okay. The setting of this camera, as it is now, the aperture, this is the aperture right here. Sorry. This is the aperture right here. The aperture is on 4.0. And I'm using the aperture, I'm using the lens with the aperture 1.8. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to reduce the aperture to accommodate more light. I can see it's brighter. It's brighter because, oh yeah, sorry. This is how it was before. The aperture was on 4.0. Now I have to take it down and reduce it on 1.8. So aperture is the first way of controlling light. The second uh, method of controlling light is through the shutter speed. The shutter speed is here. This is where I control my shutter speed. Right here. Now the shutter speed here is on 1,000. 1, I say 1,000 naira. Money. The shutter speed here is on 1,000. If I bring it down to 30, the lower it comes down, the brighter it becomes. Then the final process of you know working with light is through the ISO. And the ISO here is on 2000. But I want to bring it down a little bit because I don't want to work with too much ISO as it is, it's getting really exposed. Now let me now work my ISO and bring it down to say 640 or say 500. Now it's already controlled. As you can see that this is fair, but it's not yet perfect. Now let's check out the setting of the white balance. Okay, let's have to cut this. Now, this is the white balance now. The white balance is on cloudy. And I said that I used, personally, I work with two white balance that will allow me to uh, control, that, 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 that allows me to use soft lights. I work with two white balance. That is shades and the sun. They, they, they give a warm feel. So they allow me to use these soft lights. Okay? The mistake people make is... This is the white balance, this is the normal um, white balance that people use very often. The tungsten white balance. And because of that, it gives a blue feel. It gives a cold feel. Now, you, if you use a tungsten white balance, which is a cold feel on this kind of light, everything will be very boring and very dull. So you don't want that. You don't want to use a tungsten white balance on this kind of light. So you have to use the opposite. You have to use a warm white balance. And my own white balance, I personally recommend either the sun or the shade. Now this is the sun. This is the shade right here. This is the shade right here. And this is the sun. So let's work with the shade. The shade white balance. You see that everything. Now I, I changed it to a shade white balance. Look how it is. Now look at us please. Look at us. Now look at this. We are getting there. With a shade white balance, we are getting there. This is how it was before. Imagine me shooting with a um, tungsten. This is what most DOP use. Tungsten. Do look at me. Now with this white balance, you need more lights. So you need a you need um, more red head to really, you know, give a warm feel. That's why, most people, that's why most DOPs bring in more red dead. They have to bring in more red dead because they cannot work with this. This is too boring. So what I do basically is I have to change the white balance. So let's change the white balance to a warm feel. That is shade. See now, everything now looks natural now. We can work with this light better. Now the beautiful thing about working with this light See, this is the, everything looks natural now. We can work with this light. Look at this. So it's different from how it was before. Now, the beautiful thing that, about this light, right, is that you can also, it cooperates with other indoor lights, other normal indoor lights. As you can see, this background is very dark. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just put on the light at the background and everything will be normal, as opposed to having a red head before. So let's just try that. Real quick.
Now you see that the, I didn't use any other lights here where people, there is no other practical lights, just the normal lights that I just put on. Everything looks so normal. Why? Because this light is soft. So it cooperates with other lights. So that's why you can, you can actually spend less and enjoy yourself. Now imagine if I use a red head here. If I pour a red head here, for me to light that background, I will have to put another red head at that background so that it will balance up with the red head I'm putting here. But because I'm using a soft light here, look at this light here. Because I'm using just a normal Chinese lantern, I can actually work with other lights in the house. I can actually work with, there's a light there, I can just put on that light there. I don't need to light. I don't, I don't need a special light for that. And look at how clean this picture is. So here we are. Okay. So that's it for us now. Basically, what we have just one light. Now, another beautiful thing about this light is that also you can use it for um, mood lighting. What is special mood lighting? What we are going to do basically, we are going to put mood lighting is just a dark lighting. For example, this, this, this can go for a happy scene, or a normal scene, a normal conversational scene. But for a scene where it's sad and someone feels like crying and someone is depressed, you can't use this kind of lighting. I prefer, personally, my personal things, I prefer a mood lighting, something dark and a little gloomy. What we'll do is that we're going to put off the normal lights. Usually what is helping us is that this light is working with other lights now other indoor lights, but because we want to, so these are the normal indoor lights it's working with. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put off the indoor lights, I'm going to light from down to give us this mood feel. Let's do that quickly. We have our mode light now. So very simple. What we did basically was that we just put up all the lights, then we lit this from down. We brought this channel down. Like, that's the beauty of China down. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, don't laugh at me. That's the beauty <laughs> of Chinese lantern now. To light normal lighting, just take it up. Then put, just use other lights in the house. Put on all the lights in the house, take it up, then you are good. But to have a mood feel, you don't have a mood feel. Let's say somebody is depressed, is hungry, is sad, he wants to cry and everything. Just light from down, take, put up all the lights, the light from down, you take the light ch channel lantern down. And you're still working with the same setting. Alright, we're still working with the same setting. Then we shoot. Now, sit down now. Dara, cry for us, please. Huh? Cry for us. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it now. Look at this can go, this can pass well for a moody scene. Mm. All we did basically was that we put the light below Dara. Um, action. It was one. <laughs> 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 So now I'm done shooting the grooming scene. I want to go back to my happy scene. So I'm taking this up. Let's go, don't forget something. Happy scene, light goes up. Gloomy scene, light comes down. Happy, up. Gloomy, down. As simple as that. Now, if your actor is moving, let's say your actor is just moving from one point to the other, right? And there is no sufficient light. What you just do is just tell the light man to carry the channel lantern and just follow beside the cameraman. So mm -hmm. he's booming the Chinese lantern and he's walking backwards like that and following like that. So simple. It's, it's been tested several times and it's been very effective. So the actor is just walking, then the Chinese man, the channel lantern, <laughs> the Chinese lantern, the, the light man. Will you stop laughing? I'm trying to focus now. <laughs> the Chinese. <laughs> the um, China. Lantern. Because <laughs> 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 the light man holds the Chinese lantern 
and follows backwards as an actor approaches. It just goes backwards and just keep going like that. The beauty of this again is that this can work with inverter. It can work with um, small generators, all these little, little generators, all this, anything that can power lights can work with it. For example, now you're in a house and light just goes off and the owners of the, light of the house put on their inverter. Now, you cannot, if you have a red dead and have all these strong lights, you cannot use red dead on those inverters. It will run down the inverter and you will spoil things. But with these lights, imagine I'm using one of these. You can actually use five of these. It's very, five hundred dollars. You can buy like five of it. But I'm using one because I could, I could manipulate with this. You can actually buy five of it and buy five globes and just hang it in different spots and you enjoy yourself. Then, if light goes and you know they have put on the put on the inverter, you can actually just switch on to the switch to the inverter and use and nobody will know you are doing anything. You know? So it's easier, it's way easier. So with that with just four things in mind, you don't need to carry all the lights in the world and you can actually shoot anywhere at any time and you will be fine. So um, thank you so much for your time. It's been wonderful and it's been real. God bless you. What are you doing? This matrix or what? Get up. Oh my God.